Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to get into some string interpolation, some block strings, and some block comments. At the end of the last lesson, I mentioned that we'd be getting into splats. However, I had forgotten that we haven't even gone over, um, you know, going uh, do like a for loop or anything like that. So we're going to hold off on splats for a couple more lessons, and I'm going to show you some stuff first, okay? So string interpolation is actually really handy. It's something that I really like about CoffeeScript, and it's just a really quick little time saver, okay? So if you recall, whenever you're, uh, let's say, let's do this, give it an example here. So let's say you had a variable, and its name is name. So here's your name, Scott, okay? Right up top here, your name can be different, whatever. Uh, let's say you want to alert this. Let's do alert, and then just like we would normally do an alert, you could put quotes here and you could say, um, in JavaScript you would write, my name is, and then you'd space, space plus, and then the variable name, which is name. So that's how you typically write this, and it would alert, my name is Scott. However, what's really great about CoffeeScript is you don't have to get out of your quote here to print this name character, or this name variable. So to do that, all you have to do is do pound, bracket, and then the variable name, so in this case name, and then bracket. So now when CoffeeScript sees this, it's going to know to write, fill this in with the variable name. So let's save this and see what happens. If we come over here, you can see it is actually uh, wrote exactly what I just had, alert my name is plus name. Well, that's really great. What if you could say, um, let's do this, and my age is, and I mean, we could just put in age, right? We could do age, but let's do something a little bit more fun, okay? Since I'm 26, we actually just want to say, let's do um, 20 plus 6. Uh, six. Okay, so what this is actually going to do is um, instead of uh, finding this variable here, it's actually going to do this math for us. Uh, and otherwise, if you were doing this math, you'd have to do the same thing, unquote, and then, well, of course, we'll see the results once we save this. Okay, you can see it's now my uh, name is name and my age is, and then it's going to do, um, can, it's going to concatenate this 20 plus 6, and it's going to add it on to the end there. So this is string interpolation. I find it extremely useful. You never have to get out of your quotes here to declare your variables inside of your uh, strings. Um, I just find that saves a lot of time. Another thing you can do is you could do multiple line strings. Okay, so you could just do um, hello, and then hello can be equal to, and then you could just start typing hi, 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 hi. Then you can enter, uh, you know, I'm just filling this up, enter, whatever. And if we save this, see what it saves it as, it puts it all into one line for us. So this way you can maybe write your code so it's a little bit more like how it's being output in your content or something. If that helps you organize it a certain way, if you have paragraphs, maybe it'll break it up a little bit. Instead of having just one really long line and having to have your text editor do word wrapping or something. And you can also do block strings so that you don't have to worry about um, escape quotes or anything like that. Um, so let's try this out. If we have this here, Let's actually delete all these. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three quotes. Then we're going to hit enter and then tab over. And then in here, we're going to write some HTML. We're going to do h1 um, and then hello. This is the h1 that's going to be inside of these h1 tags. And then outside here, we're going to just do three quotes again. We'll save this and we'll see what this did now. As you can see, this has escaped our quotes here, and we have hello. That's awesome. Cool. That's all good. Okay. So let's do one more thing. Let's do a block comment. Okay. I actually just noticed I didn't have uh, the code coloring on, so I just turned it on. But so the next thing we're going to do is commenting. And just like in JavaScript, uh, you can comment your code. CoffeeScript has a little bit different way of commenting your code. You're going to do it with the pound sign. So if you use the pound, it's going to comment your code out. One thing you can do is you can do a block comment. So if we do um, pound, sorry, if we do three pounds and then an enter, anything we write in here is going to be commented out. Okay, and you can even write a bunch of lines. Okay, and then now we can do three more pounds and we're right back with our coffee script. 
Okay, well that's string interpolation um, and some black quote and some black strings. It's just some tools to have in your tool belt to make your coffee script even more efficient. And I mean, just look at this line compared to this line over here. I mean, that's a, a lot easier to write and a lot more clean, I believe. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.